for both of us. So exciting. Because for so many years, I wanted to interview Paris on my own talk show when I had my own talk show, but you wouldn't come on <laughs> my talk show, <laughs> and I realized that I was a <laughs> bitch. <laughs> um, so it's really nice to have you under the subterfuge of someone else's talk show, but congratulations, first of all, because I, w I did your podcast, mm -hmm. uh, like... I really love you. And and I wasn't able to come for whatever reason. Guillermo and I were probably in Mexico that weekend. Yeah, But um, I heard it was fantastic, and I know that you're so happy and in love because I watch you on Instagram and I see all your happiness in videos. I really am. I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but I'm, you were, how did you know that you were ready to get married to somebody in front of each other? Is that normal? My boyfriend now, so why would we get married? You know what I mean? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so you would never, that's not... And how long did your honeymoon go on for? Because it felt like it went on for like six to seven months. Well, yeah. It was, I deserved it. Yeah. Um, uh, so I know you were at another famous wedding because you were at Britney Spears' wedding recently yes. too, right? Yeah. So how, cause, and then you almost had a conflict and weren't able to make that wedding, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a bold move. Did you, did you tell them why you were canceling that it was an emergency? Well, it was an emergency because Britney Spears yeah. that wedding. I saw a picture. What's the, can you throw up the picture of all the, it looked like you were really emotional, were you? I was, uh, just seeing her. Wedding. Singing. How do you know Britney Spears originally? We haven't been able to keep touch with her during this whole time of everything that was going on with her family and her situation. Yeah. Working on that currently? Or... <laughs> Tell me what your schedule is like DJing because I, people don't realize how intense it is and they don't take DJing seriously as a job unless I went to Ibiza once and I came back and I was brain dead. <laughs> <laughs> but you can DJ now for shorter periods of time, right? You don't have to spend, you don't have to be out the whole night. No. I do early. Boyfriend, I mean, you're sorry, your husband, I can't get past the fact that you're married. Did you bring your husband <laughs> with you to your, to your work? You know who else goes to everywhere with their wife? Dr. Phil and his wife. They do everything together. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, I'm warning you. Yeah, you want to stay away from that kind of behavior because I don't want you to turn into <laughs> Dr. Phil either. Either. <laughs> um, we'll be right back with Paris Hilton after this. Welcome back. I am here with Paris Hilton. Paris, you have a, a new, you brought me a present, I think. I did. You have a new tracksuit line? Yep. Oh my uh, goodness, I love that. You're the first one to get this new iconic track. Oh my God, I love gifts, mm -hmm. especially when I'm home. <laughs> Guillermo, do you want to use this? Guillermo. Uh, okay, here, here, uh, I'll, I'll put it right here. Okay, I'll get it after. Oh, okay, <laughs> thanks. Guillermo gave me a little bit of tequila before the show, so <laughs> I'm a little bit off balance. So uh, tell me about what you did with, um, I know that you got a bunch of animals once by accident or in Vegas, did you do that? Did you get a bunch of animals once and then drive them home? Yeah. Forever or did you get rid of them when I you got home? Oh yeah? I kept them. Uh, the goat is at my ranch because it grew. The goat, sorry, here we go. Just Here's found the goat. That. It's a little baby goat, right? I once, I once uh, forgot my dog when I went to Canada. <laughs> Uh, for dogs, I was like, oh, I didn't know I could bring them. And then I only had one dog, actually, at the time. His name was Chunk. And so, I, and he said, you have to imagine our shock when we got on board to fly this plane and we saw burn to be with my animals. Oh my but I know how you feel about your animals, too, because you rescue a lot of animals. Yes. Do you have any new ones during the show right now? She literally delayed because I induced her earlier this afternoon. Yes. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I'm a doula. I find mushrooms very calming and safe. Other people <laughs> freak out. Yeah. But I can't speak for everybody else. Do you change no. a diaper? No, because it's not my kid, so I have to like, practice it. But I don't know. You, but it's your sister. You're going to want to change her diaper even once just to say, like, pretend that you're down for that. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't you think? I don't know. Happen then. Maybe. Okay, well, Probably Nikki, not. if you're watching from your hospital bed, I'll change your diaper. <laughs> I'll change your diaper, but not your baby's diaper. Uh, thank you so much, Paris. Thank you. This is Paris. It's available everywhere that you get your podcast, and we will be right back with Mateo Lane.